smoke coming out the greenhouse. Yeah, that's what I came out to see. Don't know if you can tell, but we had a good frost last night. See a little bit of white around. There's our potato patch. You can see the frost on it. That's a palm tree. Hi. You say there's ice on the truck? Yes, dear. There's okay. ice on the truck. On the windshield? On the windshield. I like to decorate for St. Patrick's Day, so here's my front door. I just got that wreath made out of wood this year. And then I have a little table here, seasonal tree that I decorate, and a little leprechaun and a hat down there. Not too much, just a little. This is a fireplace mantle with my decorations. Some more hats and a little frame that says, um, when Irish eyes, eyes are smiling, sure it's like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world seems bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they steal your heart away. And kiss me, I'm Irish. And up there. And this says, thinking of you on St. Patrick's Day, may the road rise up to meet you and may the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and until we meet again may god hold you in the palm of his hand and that's it I so sloppy clothes on yeah well you're outside doing chores There was a little brown and white striped bird there this morning. It looked like a, yeah. about the size of a sparrow. Yeah. I don't know what it was. We'll have to look it up. So what are we going to do? We're going to plant peas close to the fence so they'll climb on the fence. Okay. Uh, English peas. Mm -hmm. Garden peas. English garden peas. Okay. Okay, so we have little, he has little holes punched in the ground. About an inch, inch, and, inch, inch and a half apart. Inch, inch and a half apart, and I'm just going to drop the peas in the holes. About an inch deep. About an inch deep. Okay, Larry wants me to drop the peas for him, so he's going to hold the camera while I drop them. Laura's dropping the seeds because uh, <clears throat> I have a back problem. And hers not as near as bad as mine is, so I'm going to let her drop the seeds. This is about as much as I do. <laughs> is that enough? Okay. You can look up once in a while. Hmm? Okay, keep going. Something down in this hole. That's all right. Don't worry about it. It won't hurt. I guess you ran the tiller down through there this morning, got it all loosened. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mantis. Mantis. Small mantis tiller. Mm hmm. Two cycle. There's some more fire ants. They're aggravating. Can't get rid of those. Yeah, the bane of the south. Put one row beside the other one so they can climb on each other and stand up straighter. So they kind of piggyback up the fence. This is a tree that Larry girded. Two of them beside the There's one right there and down there's the other one. There are two near the garden and they shade it. And the roots are growing in the garden. And the roots are growing in the garden. It's just not a good place, so once it dies, we'll have more firewood. There's the other one. 
And now we're planting the second row of English garden peas. And now we're planting, Laura's planting. These are just the peas that we've had for about eight or ten years in the refrigerator, refrigerator. And uh, some seeds will last in the refrigerator and some of them won't. These look pretty good. I think it should grow. Okay, Larry decided to plant another row. He had enough peas left. Trying to use them up because they're eight years old. Yeah. So he's punching more holes for me. And it's the second one. Okay. To sing. How about the farmer in the dell? Yeah. You know that one? Yeah, but our farm ain't big enough. Old McDonald? We sang happy birthday to Rusty this morning. Oh, He's he did. 60 years old. He's 60? Yeah. So Larry's going ahead and covering him up now with the rake. Did you put fertilizer in there already, or? They don't need much fertilizer. They might not need any fertilizer. I might side dress it later. It might not. This is about the only thing that really doesn't need much fertilizer. Yeah, I want it to come up there. Some of them not covered up, but that's fine. While we tie them close together. And as you can see, there's no, there's not any rocks down here. You don't have to worry about any rocks in the garden. Okay, here's two of the cabbage we have left. And when we had the really cold weather, now he took the pine straw and put over the top of them to keep them from freezing. And he's got two growing in the ground, and he's got one here in a pot and another one in a but pot. They don't do as good in the pot. But they don't do as good in the pot. How many did you have to start with? Uh, I had about a dozen. Had about a dozen, so we've eaten or given away all the others. Yeah. This is Sunday, the 15th of March, and you can see the peas we planted are up. They're just all the way down through there. It's hard down through there. Stay in the little middle. They're just coming all up.